I think uh, fathers suffer from the thought that they think they're going to make their son soft. It's not the way to raise a boy to be a man. It's a lot of misunderstanding there, I believe. I wish he would have taught me through the relationship with he and my mom what a real relationship should be. A loving relationship. I said, just, you know, let me know what's going on at all times. And she called me and she said, you know, this, you better get down here. I don't think you're gonna have another chance to say goodbye to your dad. And I get to the hospital bed and my dad is completely passed out. And I grabbed his hand. I knew I needed to say it then. And I couldn't even repeat the words that I said. I just know that I, it was full of love and forgiveness and, and wishing him the best. And when I turned around, the nurse had walked into the room while I was talking to my dad. And she was just full of tears. And she said, I, I just didn't want to interrupt you to tell you that he passed away an hour earlier. I said, you know what? I didn't do that for him. I did that for me. I wish he would have taught me that I was important. And you don't even realize you're doing it, but that's the power of a dad. So don't worry about the razzle-dazzle or making sure that your time with your daughter is this way or this way or this way. Live your life and love her and bring her alongside you. That's all you need to do. I wish he would have taught us how to love. But your greatest calling in life, the impact you're going to make that is greater than any other impact is at home as a dad.